Hey nail friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating some whimsical butterfly nails, so stay tuned to see how these nails turn out. I decided to use Builder Gel as my base for this set. I honestly have not had much experience with Builder Gel, but I really wanted to give it a try today. I think there's like a specific way that you're supposed to apply it rather than painting it on like you would with regular gel polish. I think you're supposed to like let it fall off the brush onto the nail and kind of move your brush in a side to side motion until it's fully covered. However, I do not think I have enough builder gel to even try to do it that way. So I'm just painting it on as I normally would with any other gel polish. But I'm going to be doing two coats of this on each nail and then I do cure in between each layer for 45 seconds. Now I say I don't have much experience because I've had this builder gel for a while now and I used it when I first got it but I don't think I really knew how to use it. Like I think this is the same way that I used it before and as of recently like being on Instagram I'm starting to see more people using builder gel and now I'm like oh so this is how you know you're supposed to be using it so I'm just kind of learning kind of how to use it but I don't think I have enough to do it the way that you're supposed to do it, if that makes sense. Once I put my two coats on, I'm taking an alcohol prep pad and just wiping down the surface. I do plan to go in and file these a little bit so that my base can be a little more smooth and not as lumpy. As I mentioned before, I am going to be filing these a little bit. I'm literally only just doing a little bit because I don't want to take too much off. For my base color, I'm using this color in Pink Panther from Nail Haws. I end up doing two coats of this color. I'm using this magnetic gel polish from an Amazon kit. It is the Model One's mini gel salon kit um, that this actually came out of, but I'm using this and then the magnet that came with it and I'm just adding one layer and then I go ahead and use the magnet to create my design. Once I felt like that was good, I did go ahead and cure it and then I'm doing the same thing on my thumbnail.
I'm going to be adding these little pieces to this nail and so in order to do so I have to apply a base coat because they're going to need something to stick on to so I did dip my brush a little bit in the base coat as well so that I could just grab it from the pod and put it onto the nail. Once I get it how I like, I do put this under my lamp for a little bit and then I move on to the next few nails because I'm going to be doing the same thing on the index finger, the middle finger, and the pinky finger nail. I've got these clear droplet pieces and I'm just going to be taking three of these and putting them onto the pinky nail. So I'm going to have the biggest one at the top and then curve it down to where it's gradually getting smaller. I have a lot of butterfly accessories so I've got these cute little butterfly charms and I'm just putting one on the index fingernail. I do kind of slant it a little bit because I want it to look like it's flying kind of. I did like how it looked like it was flying with the dust um, or the little sparkly pieces that are underneath it but I do end up just adding some chrome to this later on. For the middle fingernail, I'm going to be doing an aura effect using matte top coat and some eyeshadow. So I did do one layer of matte top coat, I cured it, and then I started to pat on some aura, or not aura, some eyeshadow. And I did cure in between each layer. I'm not sure if that's necessary for this technique, but I just went ahead and did it just in case. I'm using these butterfly stickers for this design and I'm just placing it in the center of the nail. I feel like now is a good time for me to top coat so I can save my progress. And so I'm just top coating the middle fingernail. This nail is gonna have some chrome on it as if, you know, it's like little powder or just something left behind from the butterfly flying off per se. So I mix some rhinestone glue and some black gel polish and I'm just creating those kind of lines underneath the butterfly and then I'm going to cure them under my lamp for 45 to 60 seconds. I decided to go with these two colors for my chrome and I'm taking my silicone tool and just going over that black part with the chrome powder. To seal this in, I did go ahead and top coat this nail as well. I felt like this design needed even more gold, so I found these gold tape pieces and I'm just diagonally placing them onto the nail and then I'm also taking more or just another one of these butterfly stickers and putting that right in the center. And this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts and if you've tried working with Builder Gel, let me know what you think about it. 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.